Hey ladies, um, this video I'm going to talk about the new beauty test tube, the QVC version. I'm going to try to describe um, the, what I'm talking about when I say the version, because there's two versions. So New Beauty is actually a magazine, and then they came out with a subscription program to go along with the magazine. I'm assuming the magazine was originated before the whole subscription program. So it's similar to Birchbox, but it is more expensive. It's $29.99 plus shipping, whereas Birchbox is free shipping. And it's not monthly, it's quarterly. Birchbox is monthly. The new beauty test tube is a quarterly subscription. So it's $39.99 plus about, I don't know, eight or $9 shipping. So it usually comes out to, like it charges my card $39 and like 20 cents or something like that. So just shy of $40. Unlike Birchbox, where the samples are deluxe, and a lot of times they aren't very deluxe, they're like tiny, this program provides you with m m like mostly deluxe and many times full size products. So I actually really like it. I've gotten two QVC test tubes now, and then two of the regular New Beauty test tubes, and I've been completely and utterly satisfied with all of my tubes. So, um, like I was saying, the New Beauty is a magazine, and um, that they have a subscription program. And then they also teamed up with QVC, the shopping network, and they have a subscription program available through QVC as well. They are available at the same times every year. So, for example, I got both of my test tubes, the regular, I'm going to call the regular version that, that you can purchase directly from the New Beauty website, the regular version, then I'll call the QVC version the QVC version, just to clarify. But um, the QVC version and my regular version basically came the same. They both came in October. And then the next ones are both scheduled to come in January. So then, and then also QVC, the QVC version only has products that you can, that are available for purchase on UVC, QVC. So the test tube from QVC you'll only find QVC products inside of it. I'm assuming that's how they like get their money back because if you like a product, you'll, they're hoping you'll buy it from them. Whereas the regular version that you can buy directly from the New Beauty Test Tube website <laughs> has products from anywhere and everything. Like I've gotten products from, you can find at Sephora, Ulta, the drugstore, everything. So I don't say, I'm not gonna say one version is better than the other, I like them both. And they're always different products. So both of my tubes that came this month, nothing is the same. Now, both are you can do both as auto delivery. So for example, the regular version, I signed up. Actually, my husband signed me up. It was part of my birthday gift. He knew I'd been wanting it. So he signed me up, and it automatically charges your card every month. Or every three months, I apologize. So um, just like Birchbox, but it's an every three month charge instead of monthly charge. Now the QVC version, the first time I ordered it, I actually had to wait until it was available on the network to purchase. So you know, like they, they have the show where they show you and they talk about it. And then they also have the website that's a, it's usually available maybe a couple days prior to the sh it's showing on TV. So I actually could not buy it till that date. But then when you do auto delivery, it comes to you, you don't have to wait for it to be available on TV or on the internet anymore. It actually comes to you earlier. So for example, my first tube was in, um, wait, October, so I believe July. So it came to me the beginning of August, I think I got it. Yeah, whereas this tube, th this, this test tube, it wasn't actually available on TV until the 28th of October, so just a few days ago, but mine, since I'm in auto delivery, was scheduled to ship to me on the 4th of October. I hope this makes sense. So basically when you're in the auto delivery program with QVC, you get your product much earlier than if you were to wait for it to appear on their network or on their, their internet site. Um, you can actually, one nice thing about QVC I wanna talk about since I am doing the QVC test tube for this video, is you can postpone the date. So for example, mine was scheduled to ship on the 4th of October. I didn't know what was gonna come in it, and before I, cause you you have the option of skipping that shipment, or you have the option of canceling, there's no, um, like you're not under contract. So I actually postponed my shipment until like the 20th of October, because I wanted to see what other people had gotten in their boxes, and to, or tubes, and to see if I liked it. And then once I had seen what people were getting, it's the same for everyone on the QVC website, 
I went ahead and went back on their website and forwarded and like, I'm sorry. So I, like I said, I had switched it to the 20th and then I think by the 10th or 11th, I'd found out, um, that I wanted it. So I went back on there and like made my shipping date earlier. So you have that option, which is nice. You get your products a lot sooner when you're in the auto delivery program with QVC. Unlike the new beauty, the regular version where the auto delivery continues forever indefinitely until you cancel, the QVC version only puts you in auto delivery, I believe for five cycles. And then after that, you're going to have to wait and reorder it when it's on TV or on the internet. Please ask a few questions. I know this is confusing. Please ask me down below and I'll try to answer them for you. But I hope I, I hope I gave pretty good detail, but who knows? I don't know. Okay. So like I said, this came to me a while ago. I just haven't been making videos. You guys who watch my video, like, or her watching my videos know I've made like 10 tonight. My goal was to do all my videos that I've had to do. Okay, so it comes like this. It comes in the same box as the regular version does. I think the last box I got, it might have said like QVC really tiny in the corner right here, but this box came, it's just, it was just a normal box. And oh, the tube. And then the magazine also came inside the box. And the magazine is really, really thick, I have to say. It's like super, like Vogue thickness. It's super thick, super, like thick, each page is super thick. But the majority of this, I mean, I read it, I go through it in like five or 10 minutes, but I definitely don't read it from cover to cover, like my S Weekly, like my S Weekly, I'm like on that thing. Sorry, oh my God, I jolted my computer. My S Weekly, you can't tear away from me when it comes, but this, I flip through it, that's it. Cause it mostly is about skincare and a lot about plastic surgeons. Like every page I'm, I'm right now just flipping through it. Probably 20 of the pages I flipped through were about plastic surgeons in like Boston, New York, San Diego, wherever. So it's okay. And actually if you were to go to the store and purchase this magazine, cause like I had mentioned earlier, I believe the magazine started first and then their beauty subscription program came after but you can buy this by itself and it sells for $9.95. I would never pay that much for it. I would probably never pay $2 for it. I wouldn't, but it's nice to flip through. Hey, and if you like that kind of stuff, then it's great. Um, so yes, and on a side note, I just wanna say if there's those of you out there who don't know what to do with your old magazines, I just have a really good tip. Um, when I worked at the hair salon, people fought over magazines because when a client, like their hair is processing, you know, that's what they do. They usually read a magazine and no one can keep them. I mean, a lot of clients will take them home because they'll find a recipe they like or an article they like or who knows what. And even if they don't take them home, they're handled so much on a daily basis that they start to look like crap after a, literally a week. So um, one thing I used to do was like, because I have a bunch of magazine subscriptions and so does my husband, because you always forget about the men in the men in salons, because a lot of times men get their hair cut or, or wait for their wives or wait for their hairstylist who's running behind, and they want magazines to read too. So your husband's magazines, you can do this as well. But take all your old magazines to your hairdresser if you want, cut out your address in the corner. They will love you for it, because they don't, I mean, even if they pay for some subscriptions to be sent to the salon, like I said, they go through magazines so quickly that they really do appreciate you bringing your old magazines for their clients to read and enjoy. And then you can feel good knowing that your magazines are going to good use. And then once they're ready to be retired because they just look old, then they can recycle them at the salon. So that's a, a nice thing for you guys to do. And then, hey, you score brownie points with your hairdresser. So you could always be like, call last minute and say, hey, can you squeeze me in tomorrow? Don't forget, I'm the one who always brings you my old magazines and hopefully they'll squeeze you in. Um, another good tip to do with magazines, sorry, I just have to say this one too, is my one of my really good friends volunteers in a hospital ER room, like giving updates on to families on their, um, like if someone's in surgery, things like that. And she says that they don't have very many magazines either. And so um, that's another good option is to take your old magazines to like a hospital and the waiting rooms for families to read while they're waiting for their loved ones to, who knows, go through surgery or just waiting for them in the rooms or, so that's a good idea. All right, so now to the fun stuff, this tube.
and it always comes with a brochure that tells you what products you're getting, how each product works, like directions. Like this is, for example, the Dr. Para oh, sorry, Dr. Paracone page. And it just tells you about what his product does, it tells you a little bit about the company and some key ingredients and how it works. Now I will say the prices in the QVC version test tube, they're not there. But if you this same little pamphlet always come in the regular version of the test tube and they do put their prices. I don't know why QVC doesn't put their prices, but that's okay. So the first product is the Algonist Regenerative Anti-Aging Moisturizer and it's 0.5 fluid ounces and it's made in San Francisco. That's nice, support California companies. Woo woo, California. Okay, so let me get the price for this really quickly. Sorry, I have it. I should have had it all ready to go, I did it. Okay, so the price for this, normally I did look up the price for this on Sephora and it comes in different sizes. I think it comes in small, medium, and large. So the two ounce size that you can purchase on Sephora sells for $90. So applying that pricing to the size of the sample is makes this a value of $22.50. So the value of this sample is $22.50 for the 0.5 ounces. That's pretty good. And it smells, I've smelled it a million times before, but I'll show you what it looks like. Just a white creamy moisturizer. It smells very like plant-based. Like I smell aloe. I, I mean, it doesn't have a strong scent. It just smells very natural. Very, sim very similar to aloe vera lotion. Very, very similar. So I'm very excited to try that. For $90, which, well, that's for a full size. But for $90, I'm like, this moisturizer must be working pretty good if they charge that much money for it. So I'm actually really excited to try that. And it just says, I mean, maybe you guys care about this, maybe you don't, but it says within 10 days of, mo mo of moist, within 10 days of use, of use, skin moisture is restored in 96% of the subjects. So they obviously have done studies on this. I mean, just FYI though, you can never trust those studies because they're usually funded by the people who, you know, like they're funded by the people, those studies are funded by like the people who own Algonist. So you can only, you know, you can only take it for a grain of salt. Within four weeks of use, 90% of subjects saw minimized lines and wrinkles. So there you go. Excited to try that. First product. Second product is Super Smile Whitening Toothpaste. Whitening Toothpaste, sorry. And it's original mint. There it is. And smell it. Ooh, big shocker. It smells like mint, like every other toothpaste in America. That smells good. I actually have never used a whitening product on my teeth. I probably could use it. <laughs> Look at my crooked smile. But um, when I was younger, I remember like those Colgate white strips had just come out. And my dad was like, don't use those on your teeth. They're, they, I don't know, ruin your tooth enamel. And I have my front tooth, one of my front teeth is bonded. So I never used it. I was always scared. And who knows, my dad was probably full of it. He probably has no idea what he's talking about. But he just told me that. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to use it. But I've been wanting to try one. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited to try it. We'll see if it works. Hopefully, because everyone can use some pearly whites, right? This is, okay, sorry, for the full size of this, you can purchase it for $21 for 4.2 ounces. Now this one's only 1.75 ounces, so the value is $8.75 for this sample. So the third product is this Philosophy Snow Angel 3-in-1 Shower Gel Bubble Bath and shampoo and the scent is snow angel like I said now I've never tried it as a shampoo my husband has before and he says he doesn't recommend it I've never I can't imagine something that you you use as a body wash and a bubble bath would ever make your hair feel good I can't say for sure but I just I've never tried it because I always had this like picture in my mind that would make my hair feel like 
sh like hotel shampoo. You know how hotel shampoo or most hotel shampoos make your hair feel like stringy? I can't even explain it. I always thought that's how this would make my hair feel. So I've never tried it, never dared. Leave me comments if you've tried it and liked it. But I really like it as a shower gel and bubble bath. So I think I'll stick with it. Um, but the smell on this, let me see. I've smelled this like 18 times trying to come up with a description for you guys. And I even got some in my mouth a while ago. Let me just tell you that was not pleasant. This thing is, it's, ugh, it was gross. I could not get it to go away. It was horrible. But I still can't even come up with a good description. It's just a really light, clean scent. Like normally, you know, like philosophy is like, they'll have a flavor called, sorry, <laughs> mimosa. And it smells like mimosa. Or they'll have a flavor called orange creamsicle. And it smells like an orange creamsicle. Snow Angel? Really? They couldn't help a sister out? I don't know. I can't, I'm not a good fragrance describer. And I read the bottle. There's no like, you know, there's no description. So... It just smells like a really light, cream, clean, kind of like a clean linen that came to mind. Clean, I just thought about that. Just like, yeah, like fresh linen. That's what it smells like. It smells good. Snow Angel. Come on, philosophy, help someone out. Okay, the fourth product is this Wen Winter Vanilla Mint Cleansing Conditioner. Oh, I'm sorry, wait, I didn't give you the value. Really quickly. Normal bottle of this is 16 ounces and it sells for $16. So basically a dollar an ounce. This sample is two ounces. So the value of it is $2. So $2 value on this sample. Okay, now we're on to the fifth product. No, fourth product, sorry. It's the Winter Vanilla Mint Cleansing Conditioner. And this smells just like an Andy's Mint. Like the kind you get from Olive Garden with the green, no, no, no. Olive Garden is, I believe, silver with the green Olive Garden writing, or you can buy them at the store with the green little foil wrappers. Oh, those mints are so good. This smells just like that, like mint chocolate chip. I mean, that's what, exactly, 100%, that's what this smells like. I guess I'm not so bad at describing fragrances. And this is actually, I never heard about this, um, but I guess, after reading a little bit about it, it's supposed to be used as shampoo and conditioner. And how it works is, depending on your length of hair, you apply between 20 and 30 pumps to your scalp and massage vigorously. You comb it through, and then you leave it on for three to five minutes for maximum conditioning. Then you rinse it out, and you repeat those steps if necessary if you feel like your hair isn't clean enough. And then at the very end, you apply a few more pumps, depending on the length of your hair, and you leave it in as leave-in conditioner. Now I've heard of a few, there is a few product lines out there for hair care. Sorry, my computer's cricket. And they believe that shampooing is bad for your hair. Like it just strips it of its natural oils. Even if the shampoo is sulfate free, paraben free, regardless, they just don't, they think it's not the best technique to take care of your hair. Now, oh, sorry. Um, I've never tried one of those product lines and I, don't really have any of those problems using shampoo so I've never used something like this but I want to try it. it sounds interesting I have really long hair so it probably wouldn't be the fine like the the financially like or the most financially smart decision for me to use something like this because 20 to 30 pumps depending on the length for me it'd probably be like 40 pumps honestly I don't even know so this this won't get me very far this bottle so you never know. And then also, um, for those of you with curly hair, I just want to say this really quick. One of the lines I would suggest you try if you haven't heard of it is called Diva Curl. And they do have shampoos available in, in the Diva Curl line. But I had a friend who had really curly hair. She's also a hairstylist. And she believed in this method of using a conditioner as a shampoo and a conditioner, like using it for both. And... Um, let me just say, like, because, you know, curly hair tends to be dry. And after she used Diva Curl and done that for a few months, her hair was amazing. Like, there is not one person straight hair, curly hair, who wouldn't have wanted her hair. It was so gorgeous. So for those of you other with curly hair, please check out Diva Curl. And even though they do have the shampoo available through Diva Curl, maybe I would suggest trying the conditioner treatment 
as both a shampoo and conditioner, if that makes sense. Let me know if you have questions down below. Obviously, I don't have curly hair myself, so I've never tried it, but um, my friend had amazing, I mean, like, night and day results when, when she did that. Okay, so the fifth product... Oh, I did it again. The value. I did it. Gosh darn it. I can never, I always forget. So the value on this, um, now this was confusing because I looked at the QVC website for the value on this and they had a deal of two 16 ounce bottles for $39.90 or they had a deal for a big 32 ounce bottle for $49.50. So the same number of ounces either two and 16 or one big 32. And there's a $10 price difference, 39.90 and 49.90. But anyways, I based the pricing off this sample off this off the lower price because I didn't want to like inflate the value of the tube. I wanted to give you guys the most accurate value possible or amount possible. So based on this, <laughs> sorry, I just don't want you guys to go online and be like, she lied, that's not the right value <laughs> or that's not the right price. So the value of this shampoo, which is, or cleansing conditioner, I lied, sorry. Which is six uh, ounces would be $7.48. So $7.48 for this sample. Okay, now the fifth product is this Paracone MD Firming Neck Therapy and it's 0.25 ounces. Sorry, I'm trying to let it focus. It looks like just a white cream. And this honestly, it has a scent, but it's so light. Like, I'm like, you really have to smell to get any scent on this. And it just smells like a pond. I mean, it just smells like a pond's moisturizer, just a generic everyday moisturizer. It's a good smell. It's not bad. It's just nice. And normally you can purchase this. Like I, I looked up the price on this and Sephora. They do sell on QVC obviously also, but I looked at the Sephora pricing and for a two ounce container of this, it normally sells for $95. So the value of this sample would be $11.88. Tiny little sample, $11.88. I actually wasn't that excited about this product because I was like, firming neck therapy. I'm not that old yet, but then I saw the price and I was like, well, for that much money, it better work. I'm sure it does work. They couldn't charge that much if it did it. Well, they could, but who would buy it? So, whatever, I'll try it. But I'm in my late 20s. I wasn't planning on using, I do use like anti-wrinkle stuff, but I wasn't planning on using a neck one for at least a couple more years, hopefully. Hopefully, you know what? I'm not gonna do that one yet. I'm gonna switch it up, do this one. Okay, the sixth product is, yeah, sixth product is this, uh, Josie Moran Argan Oil. It's actually pretty small. It's 0.17 ounces. It's really tiny. And I have to say I smelt this. It doesn't smell pleasant. It doesn't smell bad. No, it does kind of smell bad. I'm not going to lie. It smells like, like, like very chemically. Like nothing pleasant. Not perfumey. Not like my Moroccan oil, to me at least it smells like kind of warm and this just smells like very, very chemically. Not bad, I'm sure it probably does, I'm sure it probably works really good on your hair. It just doesn't have a great smell. Just smells like, like oil, like a chemical oil. And it's really tiny actually. But I guess the one good thing is I am going to be traveling coming up for the holidays. Get to visit my family. Um, I'm actually sad. I don't get to spend Thanksgiving with them because my husband works. He works 24-hour shifts. So he works the day before and the day after Thanksgiving. I'm really thankful that he gets to be – I get to spend Thanksgiving with him at least. So we get to spend it together. But because of his schedule, I don't get to spend it with my family up north. So I'm kind of sad about that. But I do get to spend Christmas with them. So – and I will spend the week be – before Thanksgiving with them. So that's still good. I'm, I'm still excited about that. But I'll take this with me when I travel to visit them and I'll take the box with it. So that'll keep, you know, hopefully it from breaking or anything like that. I'm not flying if I'm driving. Hopefully I won't be driving like a maniac where this would break, but you never know. And if this got on your clothes, I cannot even imagine what it would be like to get out. Like, can you imagine if that argan oil got all over your clothes? 
That'd be horrible. Okay, so the seventh product is the Smelly Everlight Waterproof Eyeliner in color Starlight. It's black. And it's full size. So... There's actually a cult following out there for Mally eyeliners. I didn't realize that until I got my first one in another test tube I got. But people love them. They do go on very smooth. Is my camera ever going to focus? Uh, kind of. They go on very smooth. Um, not chalky or anything like that. But I, I have to say, I do like their eyeliners, but, and I, you know, I have some of those, what, 24-7 ones from Urban Decay. Um, but I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm so sold on the eyeliner I use now. On one of my other videos that I'm going to make one day, when I go over my daily routine, I'm going to try to, um, I'm not going to tell you what it, got, what it is yet that I use, but I have to keep you guys in suspense, so you keep watching my videos. Um, and hopefully subscribing to me. But, um... What was I going to say? Yeah, I've been using the same one forever. And like I use the same, there's certain things I will never change. And I swear it is the best eyeliner I've ever used in my entire life. And I've told people about it. And I like, when I used to live up north, I told so many people about it that I could never even find it anymore. I swear, like I told people who told people who told people who told people. And I would go to the store to buy it and they were always sold. And not just one store, because you can get it at the drugstore. I went to like 10 drugstores and they were always sold out. It was ridiculous. Like I'd have to order it specially online or go to the drugstore and order like 10 for me and keep them in bulk. I'm not kidding. That's how good it is because once you tell people about it, the word spreads and everyone uses it. So see, now I enticed you guys to watch another video. Who knows? For all I know, probably it's not just my world secret. Probably everyone knows this secret, but I'm still going to keep it till later. And the value of that, sorry. Did I even give you the value of the oil? No, I didn't. Oh my goodness gracious. I am such an amateur, it's embarrassing. Okay, so the value on the argan oil, this one um, also comes in different sizes, so I base the pricing on the smallest size available. So normally the small size sells for $14 and it's 0.5 ounces. So the value of this sample of 0.17 ounces is $4.60. So $4.60 for that sample. The Mally eyeliner normally sells for $15 and this is full size, so it's worth $15. And just FYI, those of you out there who love Mally eyeliner, when I looked at the prices, I saw that the Mally website, now I don't know if this is still current, this is like a few days ago. When I looked at the prices, um, they were on sale for $10, so $5 off. So you guys might wanna check it out if you're into Mally eyeliner. The eighth and final product is this Laura Geller Shadow Liner in Forest Mist and Key Lime. I'm assuming Forest Mist is the darker of the two. And, oh, I forgot to swatch it. Gosh darn it. Um, I would swatch it for you now, but I have very, very sensitive eyes. Like, I crazy sensitive. And I literally, when I put makeup on the morning, have to, like, wash my hands and, like, dry them on a clean towel and then put my makeup on. Um, my brushes have to be washed like at least weekly. It's bad. So I'm sorry. I can't swatch it for you guys. I apologize. But the, the darker green, I have um, swatched it before, looks pretty much like you see it there. It doesn't, it doesn't have so much pigment where you touch it and then boom, you see that on your hands. You have to like, you maybe do a couple coats to get that color, but you can get there. I'm sure if you do it wet, even more so. But I believe that's, that's probably the side you're supposed to use as a liner, I'm assuming. Now the lighter color is actually really pretty. It looks very similar to Max Vex. You know, like it's like a, and that's like, I believe it's Vex. I was gonna look at my, cause I have that color and I think it's named Vex and I was gonna double check and I forgot. Um, but it's like that pearly purple cream. It's the weirdest, like, but at the same time coolest color. But I will have to say that when I swatched it, I like did a couple things around the house and the lighter color had completely disappeared within 30 minutes. So yeah, and that's a full size by the way. And the full size, so the value of it is $23. Now I looked online when I was looking for the value of it, I have to say I could not find this color combo. So I'm thinking it might be discontinued and they threw them into our test tubes to get rid of them, which is okay by me, I'm not complaining because I love full size stuff. But I don't think you can get this color anymore. 
because Laura Geller website didn't have it, nor did the QVC website. And then the last couple things, they give you a really small sample of this Philosophy's Divine Illumination. And then they just give you a pamphlet on Laura Geller eyeshadows. So the total value of the tube was $95.21. So definitely wasn't bad for a $39 purchase or $39 and some change. I think my test tubes last time were even a better value than that, but it's still a pretty good darn value. I can't complain. I'm happy with the stuff. I'm happy to try it. So please leave me any comments if you have questions and I will try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching.